guys welcome back to my channel today we'll talk about ways how to stop buying stuff that you never wear i know that this may be a problem for some of you i have been there as well and you know there are some reasons for why do we buy clothes we never wear so i decided i will give you some tips tricks and simply how you can do little changes that will help you get rid of this problem so number one stick to what works for you i know this may sound easy but sometimes we feel like we're in a style world and we really want to change our style and we want to do a big transition like from i don't know a boho style to very dressy elegant or something that we may be not even ourselves anymore and if you are going to do a big transition it may end up that you will not wear these clothes because it will be too big of a step and i'm all for change i'm rooting for you totally but i think rather do smaller steps and go slowly in this process and really know what works for you and what doesn't and i don't mean just in matter of like the style but overall the colors and your whole wardrobe your personality and so on so i definitely recommend not doing too big transitions in your style you know sometimes we just see something on pictures from someone and our desired style and you know you think you will wear these pink shoes for example uh even though you're used to all black shoes and edgy style for example and then you realize you will not wear the pink shoes because it's just not you and it was a sign that you wanted to become this kind of elegant dressy romantic person it's just an example you know but if you do just this big stuff and that is totally different from what you have been used to and you're not sure about these pieces you will not wear them so rather really stick to what works for you tip number two is stop buying clothes for the body you want versus the body you have you know you're in a situation right now that maybe you are not very happy with where you at with uh, your body you buy clothes for your desired body even though it's not your actual situation and that is a way to hell because i know that you probably think that you will have your clothes two size smaller in a month two months doesn't matter the time frame but you always have to work with what is now and be a bit realistic about this and i think this is a very common mistake women make that they're buying size of clothes that they are desired for the body but it's actually not happening so don't do this another tip is don't shop the sales I know I have mentioned this several times really it's so easy to get caught up in the oh what a bargain I made a great purchase but you know I mentioned this in many of my videos I will link them down below that there are many triggers of this uh, thing and you will not wear these clothes because it was just on sale and you haven't really thought of if this piece is really you if you love it if it's uh, versatile enough uh, if it's something that uh, is cohesive if it's something that will go with the rest of your closet and so on so usually it's just a road to hell as well next thing you should do is declutter your closet regularly i know this may be pain in the ass sometimes we don't have the time to do it all the time I think even once a year is enough. I would probably recommend every six months when seasons are changing. And it's a good revision also. And you will realize what pieces you own, what pieces you wear, what pieces you don't wear on uh, the other hand. So it's overall a good thing. And you will have this revision and give it also your closet um, some fresh air. So definitely recommend decluttering your closet regularly next tip is stop emotional buying it has to do also a lot with the sales but this is probably even worse because it's probably gonna cost you more money than their 
uh, great bargains and sales. And I know it's so hard. It's so, so hard. And it doesn't have to be just like shopping in shops, but especially nowadays when now shopping online is so popular, like you will just like, you know, virtually put so many items into the basket and, and just buy it and not think about it too much because like with high therapy is uh, your best friend. But again, you always have to know what you're buying, why you're buying it, when you're wearing it, if you have added pieces in your closet that you combine it with, you know, all these things. I know that I'm repeating myself, but I hope that you already know these. You know, emotional buying is really, really bad. And I would recommend that you will leave this for the next day or maybe even a few days. And if you still want these items the next day and you're sure about it, then go for it. But just don't shop like immediately when you're feeling down and really have a second thought about it. Next tip is know your personal style and the pieces you love. This is crucial. This is like probably the most important tip because if you don't know your style, I already mentioned in the first tip that it's uh, really important to know what works for you. So it has to do with your style obviously as well. And knowing really who you are, therefore knowing your style and knowing the pieces you love will always be a great indicator of what other pieces you want to be buying or not because you already know your fashion staples and what is your closet all about so then it makes shopping so much easier for you and i think it's a great way how to as i said know what you are buying and you will not buy things you will not wear wear because it's yeah, you just know yourself that well that if you are never wearing bright colors, you will not buy them because you know that you're like you are only wearing neutrals. It's a great help how to not get into the limbo of unthoughtful shopping. Next tip is don't follow trends on social media. Social media plays a big role in our lives. I bet you that if you don't have Instagram or any other social media, and you don't scroll through your feed constantly and to see what others are wearing, what uh, others uh, are buying uh, constantly, new stuff and like a brain massage to this kind of impulsive shopping thing, then it's great. But as I said, nowadays it's a big problem in my opinion because you constantly see on Instagram lots of girls buying new stuff all the time and you probably feel that you need some new stuff as well because of it. And not just that, but it can easily make you into buying stuff that you don't like, you don't need, are not your style, will not fit in your closet and so on. Because it's all mental. Most of these problems I mentioned are, you know, just like psychological and it has to do with emotion. So it's something that you should really avoid. And as I said on the previous points, stick to your style, know what works for you. And these are the most important ones. And not to get influenced by others for your purchases because I know you may have some favorite blogger wearing this uh, actual trend and it may make you want to buy too, but really consider all the points I already mentioned so you really know if that's an item you need or want or love or not. Tip number eight is have a shopping list, always. Um, this is also a big thing, a very crucial thing, because again, it's mental and you know, it's so easy to buy something that's not on your list if you don't have that list. If you do, I urge you to just stay 
buy what's on your list and not to buy anything else to really avoid any impulsive shopping and yeah that way you will always buy just stuff that you really need and love next tip is buy only things that match with your rest of your wardrobe i already kind of mentioned this in the previous points uh, when shopping in in general but this is also very important because you always have to think of ways how you will wear a certain piece. And if you cannot think of at least three ways, don't buy it. This is like something that I always, always, always stick to because if you cannot think of at least, as I said, three ways of how you will wear this certain piece with other clothes, then it's not a good fit for your closet, for your style, and not for you. And the last tip is don't buy maybe things. I always say, if it's not a big yes, then it's a big no. So don't buy anything that you're not sure about and you're thinking like, mm, if I will add a belt, maybe it's gonna look quite okay. Maybe I will wear this best skirt that I have in my closet and then I think the outfit will kind of work or simply anything that you're not sure of, just leave it in the shop. So this is it from today's video on tips, how to store buying clothes that you will never wear. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch some of my videos next, I am linking here a video of nine things that are out of style in your closet. So I will see you there if you want to watch that one. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one.